on page 123 following the same process. So I'm going to carefully read what do I need to achieve mathematically in this stoichiometric problem. So I see it says how many moles. So that's my unknown. So I need, so that's where I need to end my math. So when I take a look at the mole diagram, the moles on the right, that's where we end. I need to figure out moles and it tells me of CO2. So I need to determine the number of moles of CO2. Now I need to think about, well, what information do I have to start with? So when I take a look at this, I see a number, 152 Gs. So that gives me a mass. And now what I have to think about, that 152 grams, does it belong to the carbon dioxide? So I'm starting with carbon dioxide's mass, or does it belong to another substance up here in the reaction. And when I look at it, this mass does not belong to carbon dioxide. So I'm starting way over on the left. So I'm starting here in the mass on the left-hand side, and this belongs to this organic structure of C2H3OH. So now I have to think through the process here of how do I start with the mass of one substance and get all the way to the moles of a different substance. So I'm going to follow the pathway here. So I'm going to change the mass of the C2H3OH, and the only thing I can change it into would be moles. And because it's on the same side, I'm going to change mass of C2H3OH into mass of c 2 H3OH. Once when I have that done, then I can continue on and I can change the moles of that substance into moles of CO2. So I have a two-step process. So since I'm, I've got to go across two different lines, that means I need two different equivalences. Step one followed by step two. So I'm going to just get myself set up here. So here we go. In this math problem, I have 152 grams of that organic formula, C2H3OH, and I'm going to follow the pathway. I need to change its mass into moles. So I got to get two moles of this organic, C2H3OH. And I want to be able to get rid of grams of that C2H3OH. So by putting in this first equivalence, I'm now mathematically in moles of C2H3OH. But I'm not done yet. I need to cross over this next line. So in this next line, I want to get two moles of CO2. And I want to be able to get rid of where I'm coming from, the triangle I'm leaving. I want to be able to get rid of moles of C2H3OH. I want to mathematically be able to cross it out. And at the end, now I have my second equivalence, I should be at moles of CO2. So first thing is figuring out, okay, what is the information? If I go from the mass of a substance to its number of moles, then that means I need to know the GFM. So as a reminder, one mole of C2H3OH will equal the GFM of C2H3OH. So I need to come up with its GFM. So I have two carbons, each one contributes a mass of 12.0, plus I have a total of four hydrogens, three plus the one. Each one contributes a mass of one, plus one oxygen, which contributes a mass of 16. So when I add all of that up, I end up with a mass of 44.0 grams. 
So one mole of this organic equals 44.0 grams. So one mole per 44.0 grams. Now, when you go from the moles of one substance to the moles of a second substance, this is where we need that balanced reaction. So we need to know their coefficients. And so when you go to balance this reaction, okay, this one is a little bit tricky. It might take you some time, but the C2H3OH needs a coefficient of two, which makes my carbon count four on the left. I only have one carbon on the right, so it needs a coefficient of four. By putting in this coefficient of two, I started off with three plus one, four hydrogens, but now that I put the, there, put the coefficient of two, it makes my count eight. And on the left, I only have two hydrogens, so I need to put in a coefficient of four to make my count eight. The last thing I need to check are the oxygens. So four times two, I have eight oxygens here, plus an additional four, which makes my oxygen count a total of 12. So I need a total of 12 oxygens on the left side. Well, this organic, one oxygen times two, so based on this, this supplies two of the 12 oxygens, so that means this has to, re has to supply the remaining 10. So I put a five in front of the O2. Now that I have that done, I want to identify carefully which ones I need to solve the problem, the balanced equation. So when I take a look here, I need to know information about this organic structure and CO2. So those are, out of all the four substances, now it's balanced, these are the only two I care about for this particular problem. So for the reaction, it tells me four moles of carbon dioxide for every two moles of that organic. So now that I have my information, I can go ahead and put it into the calculator. And when I get a calculator answer, it, my calculator answer looks like it's 6.909090 repeating. So I'm going to take a look here, and I notice that my starting mass has three sig figs. So that long calculator answer, I'm going to keep three sig figs left to right. And then the next digit is a nine, which would make that round up. So probably the best answer here to record, instead of everything from your calculator, would be 6.91 moles of carbon dioxide.